Humanity has always faced so many challenges throughout the years of our existence, and that's how things have always been. But as we're more technologically advanced than ever before, our challenges are also quite different today. The biggest challenge the world will be facing moving forward will not be hunger, poverty, literacy rate, or population growth. Yeah, these are still relevant, but there's something much bigger than that. Yes, we are talking about the advancement of artificial intelligence that might end up taking over humanity as a whole. Join us till the end to learn a lot more about it. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server to discuss future topics. Challenges are extremely common in our day-to-day -day life, but when it comes to humanity as a whole, there are so many destructions that are caused by natural disasters, harmful effects from global warming, and depletion of the ozone layer and a few other things that we need to look out for. Everybody's well aware of these challenges that we're all facing today, and very few people actually fight for the cause to protect our planet Earth. But on the other end of the spectrum, we're trying to create something that's very useful to us, but at the same time, there are possibilities it'll turn against us. We're talking about artificial intelligence, and there are possibilities that it will affect humanity as a whole and in a not-so-good way. There's no doubt about the fact that artificial intelligence has helped us in so many fields like healthcare, army, logistics, and the automation industry, and it's got so many other applications as well. We need to compare artificial intelligence to oil to understand the situation even better. When people were extracting oil, they were only thinking about the immediate positive results of what oil can do for humans. But in the long run, the combustion of natural gases resulted in the release of harmful gases that also ended up contributing to the greenhouse effect, and global warming is now a thing. The same is the case with artificial intelligence, because the more we advance with technology, we're also improving machine learning and artificial intelligence. Speaking of artificial intelligence, you might think of it as something like what you see in movies where robots will attack and take over humans, but that's simply not the case because artificial intelligence is everywhere. Artificial intelligence generally describes computer systems that are able to perform tasks that normally require human assistance. Let's say that you decided to buy something from an e-commerce platform, and then the algorithm that runs those platforms will learn your search history and start recommending products depending on what you search for. This is an application of AI, and a similar thing is also used by search engines to provide you with personalized search results. These use cases of AI will not be shown in Hollywood because these are not so exciting to the average audience, which is why we have artificial intelligence being depicted as super-intelligent robots that'll fight humans and lead to human extinction. We have notable celebrities like Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk who express their fear about what artificial intelligence could do to the future of humanity. The existential risk from artificial general intelligence is a hypothesis where substantial progress in artificial general intelligence will someday result in human extinction or will result in an unrecoverable global catastrophe. Today, we humans dominate our planet, not because of our physical size or strength, but only because the human brain is very different from the brain of other animals and our thought processes are much more superior than other animals. So, what happens if something more intelligent than us decides to dominate humans? You could say that the fate of humanity will depend on the actions of a future machine that will be super intelligent, which is quite scary. Elon Musk, during the AI day that was held in August 2021, revealed his plans to build a humanoid robot by the name TeslaBot, using the artificial intelligence technology that runs Tesla's cars. We're pretty sure that Elon's also not so confident about the future of AI, which is why he designed the robot to be a little bit on the weaker side as far as physical strength's concerned. Elon Musk stated in this presentation about the Tesla bot that you will have the ability to overpower the Tesla bot in case things go wrong, which says a lot about the potential danger of AI. Looking at the future of AI, the AI we have today is narrow or weak AI. It's widely useful in applications like face recognition, self-driving cars, and recommendations that you see on your favorite e-commerce platform and much more. The reason why we call these systems a narrow one is because these systems will only have the ability to learn and perform very specific tasks, and they do it much better than humans. We have Deep Blue, which happens to be the very first AI to beat a world-class chess champion way back in 1997. 
but Deep Blue will only be able to play chess and not anything else because it was designed for a very specific task. We also need to talk about the other type of artificial intelligence, known as Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. Now, this refers to an AI that mimics human intelligence, including their ability to think and apply intelligence to various problems. The rise of AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, is inevitable at this point, and will have to face one in the near future. There's no doubt about the fact that artificial intelligence can be a threat that could wipe away humanity if it reaches the wrong hands. Robots and artificial intelligence systems in general do not have to be sentient to be dangerous. They just have to be in the wrong hands of those people who decide to hurt others, which is a threat that exists even now. The other way AI can be threatening is because AI learns from the data that it's trained with. For example, racial biases have been discovered in AI algorithms that allocate healthcare to patients in the US. We also can find similar biases in facial recognition software used for law enforcement. These biases come from the data that it's trained on because the training data was not representative of the general population. We also had an AI-based chatbot way back in 2016 that was sending highly offensive and racist content to its users because it learned from people who were sending the AI bot offensive messages. If you focus on what AI can do today, there are a few potential negative impacts of artificial intelligence. The first one has to be job automation, and AI will change the workplace forever, and it might replace so many lower-level jobs that are boring and repetitive. We have companies like Amazon slowly transitioning to a completely autonomous warehouse, and this is the case with major production facilities and warehouses in the coming future. This means that so many people will be losing their only means of income, and things can get really bad for those people. You might have also heard about deepfakes, which are made using AI, and today the amount of deepfake content online is growing at a rapid rate. When you look at 2019, we had around 8,000 deepfake videos online, and just nine months later, we had about 14,678 deepfakes. Now, for those of you who don't know what a deepfake is, a deepfake is a synthetic media in which somebody else's face replaces a person in an existing image or video. Deepfakes are a form of deep learning algorithm, which will be used to swap faces in videos and digital content to make realistic looking fake videos or photos. Deepfakes can be used to make a lot of misleading videos that can create chaos if a deepfake is made using the face of someone who can influence a large community. Deepfake audio is another fast-growing field with a large number of applications, and you could clone the voice of a person, and you know how this particular technology could be misused. This means it'll be extremely difficult for you to believe what you hear and see, which used to be one of the most trustworthy ways for you to understand a particular situation. Today, the world's a much smaller place, all thanks to technology connecting us across the globe. Because of AI technologies, we need to have new laws and regulations to allow safe and effective global interactions between various governments. Because of the fact that we're living in a connected world, we're no longer isolated from each other, and the actions and decisions regarding artificial intelligence in one country will affect the others really easily. Artificial intelligence can also be used to hack systems much more efficiently than a human. You can also expect artificial intelligence-based terrorism with the expansion of autonomous drones and the introduction of robotic swarms to conduct remote attacks or deliver diseases through nanobots. AI is beneficial in many ways, but that doesn't mean the results will always be positive. Right now, we don't feel like it's going to be an existential threat to humanity, but in the future, it might. Once computers have the ability to reprogram themselves and successfully improve themselves, leading to a technological singularity or intelligence explosion, the risks of machines turning against humans in a battle for resources and self-preservation cannot be dismissed. With that, we've come to an end with our video. What do you think about the future of AI? Is it a threat or is it something we need to continue developing? Do let us know in the comment section below because we would love to hear from you all. Consider subscribing to our channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Drop a like for the video if you're optimistic about the future of artificial intelligence. That's about it for today. Catch you all in the next one.